Denton. Chapter 5. Day of the Living Puddles. So here I am, kicked out of my own home, sitting in a puddle. Yes, that's right, I landed in a puddle. And to make things worse, the puddle is getting bigger, and bigger, and bigger. And bigger! Uh-oh, this is no ordinary puddle. This is the sort of puddle that will just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until it empuddles the whole world. Above, an artist's impression of a puddle empuddling planet Earth. But never fear. As well as making books, Terry and I are the great puddle-fighting duo the world has ever known. We are every puddle's worst nightmare. Terry stomps them and then I suck them up with a straw. The stomper and the sucker. Come to think of it, our story would make a great movie. Except they're making a movie in the treehouse right there. And he's not allowed to be part of it. It sucks. But this is no time to be thinking about movies. This is real life. I have to send out the secret puddle fighting call and get the old team back together. Stomper! I yell. Stomper! Stomper! It's no use. No, it, it's no use, says the puddles. Nothing can stop me from empuddling your tree house. Oh yeah, I say, removing my t-shirt to reveal my secret puddle fighting identity. You've just picked a fight with the wrong guy. I'm the sucker. You're a sucker all right, sneers the puddle. <laughs> A sucker for punishment. <laughs> no, I say, not that sort of sucker. I pull a supersized drinking straw from the quiver on my back and wave it menacingly at the puddle. You'll never drink me alive, says the puddle. That's what you think, I say. I put the straw up to my mouth and bend down. <laughs> oh, no you don't, says the puddle. It rises up like an enormous wave and crashes down on top of me. Over and over I tumble, only my straw keeps me afloat. The puddle gets me in a headlock, but then I get the puddle in a headlock. How exactly do you headlock a puddle? <laughs> it's only made of water. <laughs> I've got you now, I say. I stick the straw into the puddle and start sucking and 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 sucking. And the puddle starts to shrink and shrink and shrink and shrink. And I keep sucking, and sucking, and sucking, and sucking. <laughs> Until at last, the puddle is nothing but sludgy brown sludge. If only Mr. Big Shot had been filming that, it would make a much better movie than all of Terry's fake reenactments put together. Hang on. Maybe he was filming it. Maybe Mr. Big Shot arranged for this whole thing to happen so he could secretly record it. 
I look around, but I can't see anything except for a few dumb-looking cows. Well, if hidden cameras are there, you're not going to see them. Duh! What do you think hidden cameras are? Never mind. I can't really think about all that right now. Because I've got more ur a more urgent problem. Will you excuse me for a moment, readers? I may be some time. So do feel free to go on to the next chapter and I'll join you there. And that was chapter 5 of the 78 story tree house. Next time we are going to be looking into chapter 6, Trouble in Andyland. Until then, thanks for watching. And before I go, I'd like to encourage you to if you enjoyed this video that is to subscribe to the channel leave a like if you do comment anything below maybe recommend a series of books to read in a future show and ring the bell for notifications on future videos from this channel. And with that, I'll be signing off and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.